Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. Today we're going to be taking on Chapter 12X, The Thunder Axe. Following Elfin's guidance, Roy heads for a cave near Jutes to obtain a legendary weapon. But Roy and company aren't the only ones who know of the cave. Yet another battle awaits them. And we find ourselves in a large cavernous chapter with a bunch of chests. And I got some prep to do. I'll see you guys after that. All right, and we're all set. Um, you have a very limited amount of units that you can bring to this chapter, and I'm bringing two thieves, so I had to cut down my team a lot. But we're gonna roll with it, let's go. Chapter 12X, The Thunder Axe. This is the end of the cave. Treasure, where are you? Answer me. Boss, are you sure about this? The men from Burn just told us to block the entrance. If they catch us now, they'll surely have us back in chains. You fool. We'll do as we're told in time. They'll never know we took the treasure. If we block the entrance without taking the treasure, it's all the same anyway. Do you really think that poor treasure were trapped in here for all eternity? Well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. Boss, there's an army stationed outside the cave. What? They want to take our treasure, do they? Have the boys near the entrance take them out. And grab all the treasure chests. We rightfully stole them first. A legendary weapon lies in this cave. It's so dark in here. According to the scholar in the Jute, in Jutes I spoke to, the legendary weapon in this cave is most likely the Thunder Axe, Armots. Armots. An axe and axe this time. Armots was wielded by Dun Durban, the Berserker, who was said to be a colossus of a man. A single blow from his axe surely made short work of any opponent. Elfin, you seem to know a lot about the eight legends and their weapons. I'm a bard. It's my job to know the myths and legends. I'd like to hear some of them when we have time. Of course. Lord Roy, it seems we are not alone in this cave. We aren't? There are also noxious fumes coming from the cave walls. We must tread lightly. Alright, so we got a ton of chests to get. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry, the dogs are freaking out. So, like I said, there's a bunch of chests around, and I brought two thieves because there's chests everywhere, and there's enemy thieves trying to get the stuff. So I would like to get it all. So we're going to split up our units to do so. So we're going to start off with just a... Uh... Yeah, let's just start off with a killing edge with fear. Let's see, we'll go ahead and just use it up. There we go, and we got the kill. Cool, good stuff. Um, I do have a hero's crest on fear, so that she can promote when she gets fully leveled. Yep, killing edge broke, I know. Um, cause she's level 16, almost 17. So she'll be doing that soon. Let's go with here with, uh, Echidna. Kill off this guy. Since he's got a halberd, we don't want him existing. And we're gonna send... We gotta send Astor that way, but we gotta keep him out of the range of that guy. And we're gonna send... Well, let's see. How far can we get Lelina? Yeah, Lelina can kill him. So let's do that. Let's switch there, there. Just like that. There we go. That way, the, her next uh, weapon equipped is still the fire. Can't quite reach him. We can move up here with Shauna and Fear. And we're going this way with Roy and Lance. Uh-oh. Didn't see him. 
That's alright. And then Echidna should handle this guy pretty easily. Sadly, she did get hit. Oh, she missed. That's alright. We'll have uh, somebody else pick him off. And then we'll steal that from him. And then kill him. Uh, who took it now? Oh, they took it from there. Okay. There are a bunch of thieves everywhere, and none of these items are nece like necessarily needed. They're just preferred. That's a crit. Good stuff, Lance. Lance also has the Knight's Crest with him for when he hits level 20. And then we'll open up this chest, get the elixir. Have Echidna come over here. Just kill this. Hold on. <laughs> Attempt to damage this guy. Because he's going to run away. But I don't want to be in a bad position for this other guy. Let's have Kath come up and around and steal. I want the lockpick more, honestly. I'm not that concerned about the antitoxin. But you know what, honestly, I'll let him live and just kill off this guy. Or start killing off this guy with fear. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll finish him off with, Lil with Lilina. Just so he doesn't mess... Well, actually, is he going to mess with... He's going to attack Kath. Yeah, just kill him. Yeah, just kill him. There we go. And that'll be that. All right. Let's see what you got, buddy. And looks like Shauna's got you handled. Cool. Good work, Shauna. And then Echidna should handle this guy. No problem. Wow, I got hit on 11%. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal Echidna. Wasn't really expecting to get hit on 11%. But I did. Okay, another antitoxin. Alright, let's do... Let's do this. Roy, kill him. There we go. He's not getting anywhere. Alright. Lance. You can't kill him. Can you kill him? Wow. Okay, let's do this, go here, trade, take the elixir, temporarily give him the brave axe, and use the elixir. Move here, equip my sword. Um, if I go right here, he actually shouldn't be able to reach him. Oh, I can, but that's fine. Estor will dodge him. Yeah, Astora should dodge him. Um, now we're gonna have we're gonna have calf. Do I really need an antitoxin? I guess I should take it. Yep, give it to me. Fear. You can't kill him. Just... Just go up. Lilina's got it. Just take care of him. There he goes. 
This chapter isn't too hard. Um, it's just a pain to get everything that you want if they're gonna keep doing it like this. Um, Seal Sword? Seal Sword does it. There we go. And then Shauna can take care of this guy. And there's a crit. So that'll do. That'll do. I'm gonna attack Roy. That's fine. Hopefully you can't double him. Okay, you can't. Cool. You're gonna attack a store. The store dodges, not a problem. You're gonna take a shot at Roy. Okay. Huh. All right, so now if I have you come forward, What if you come forward and start fighting this guy? Hopefully dodge it. Okay, didn't want poisoned. Good, good. Have a kid and a kill this guy. have Roy kill off this guy. There we go. Now the question is, do we head down this path? Yes. No. No, we don't. All right. So now we just got to be out of the archer's range with our thief while beating out of our of that guy's range. So we go right here. Then we move over here, start using these units. We head up here. There's a guy right there. Head down here. Up there. And up there. Cool. That's how we're gonna go. There's a lot of lot of guys on this map, but uh, they really aren't that threatening. Especially if you have the right units with you. The main issue is just trying to get everything. Um, if you aren't that worried about it, which everything that amounts to this chapter is three elixirs, three antitoxins, a blue gem, and a white gem. The only ones that I think are really important are the elixirs and the gems. And the elixirs are questionable. If you have decent healers, then you don't really need them, but they're always nice to get. But the antitoxins aren't that important if you have a resource staff and you don't have many issues getting poisoned. So... I don't see a huge need to focus on the antitoxins. I am pushing my luck with Roy at the moment. Um, because if Roy dies, I'm in deep crap. And I'll have to start the chapter again. So what we're going to do... Just going to move down. Kill off this guy. We're going to have a Echidna come forward and kill the archer. And then Roy will take the Roy will take the elixir from Echidna and heal himself. And that'll work. And Echidna, you go ahead and hold that steel sword for now. Cool. There we go. And you should be safe there. Uh, you're not completely safe, but safe enough. All right. Let me push forward. And we keep moving. Um, we're going to have... Where did the other one get taken from? Right there? Yeah, we're going to have Shauna come forward and see if she can stop him. That's an archer. She, she, she can take one. She can take one. So I'm not that worried. Um, even if she gets hit, she can run back. Lena, little Lena can heal her up all the way. So we'll be fine. And it's not likely to hit. There we go. Alright, cool. Really want a Hoplon Guard. Um, Hoplon Guard is an item that, when held in the character's inventory, gets rid of any effective might damage against them. 
bows being a good example. Uh, that is a druid who is trying to do a lot of damage with Eclipse and isn't able to hit me, luckily. But I think that the archer needs to die, and then the thief needs to die. Followed up by that guy. Um, actually, does that guy have a close range attack? Oh, he definitely does. So actually, he might need to die first. After the archer. So let's kill the archer. I just gotta be careful what units I put in his range now. Because that can actually do a lot of damage. And could be scary. Um, a lot of people are in his range, actually. Which is bad. So let's go here, kill off this guy. There we go. Let's head here. Let's do this. Do some decent damage with Lance. There we go. Ah, oh, so close to a level up. And that puts him in almost uh, finished up level 18. I feel like there's going to be some enemies over there. Nope, not the light brand, just the iron sword. There we go. But we're going to start moving that way with the store anyways. So I can see. Yeah, just a brigand. That's fine. And then over here, calf, head up here. Well, actually, Kath, open this. Got a torch. And there's nothing left down there, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's head up this way, just like that. Yeah, you'll attack Echidna, that's fine. There we go. Took care of him nicely. Level up for Echidna. What do we get? Speed and skill. It's all right. Sora should dodge this handily. And 0% uh, hit rate, cool. Got a little scared, but uh, that's fine. Actually, why does that do so much to... How does Eclipse work? Now I need to look. Oh, that's how Eclipse works. Okay, that makes sense. All right, Fear, go ahead and get us started. Start killing off that thief. Um... Let's just stop you from doing what you want to. Let's let you run back there. You can open that one up. You're gonna kill this guy. Or start to, at least. That makes much more sense. I didn't realize that Eclipse took the enemy's HP to one. And Echidna, take a pot shot with a hand axe. Good. Oh, great. Cool. Good work. That's that. Now we start heading forward. And cleaning up the rear. And the store opens up this chest. We get an antitoxin. Yeah, as I said, this chapter's not too bad. Um, as long as you handle it cor correctly, you're fine. Um, it's unfortunate that I got a hit there, but I will kill him next round anyways. And then I will have Lilina heal up him. Or her. Sorry. Sh uh, Shauna. <laughs> Alright. Just like this. And we got another antitoxin. And then... Calf. Unlock that. Got a chest key. Send that back. Um, fear. 
finish him off. And the main reason I didn't kill him with Lelina is that I knew that he wouldn't go anywhere. He wanted that chest, so he was just going to go for another chest. And I wanted Fear to get the experience instead of giving it to Lelina like every other fight has been. So we're just going to do that. Stop there. And then can't one shot with that, so we'll pull out the Silver Lance. And that'll do it. And that's another level up for Shauna. And strength, speed, and luck. Not bad. And I feel that we got most of the thieves taken care of now. So we should be pretty good in that regard. Just gotta get Kath caught up. Have Fear keep moving. Um, let's have Lolina come here and heal up Shauna. And we just have a few more chests to go. There we go, red gem. Make sure there's nobody's back here. And we keep going. And this should be pretty close to the end. I don't think there's any reinforcements or anything like that. Just gotta unlock these last couple chests and kill off the boss. Um, so yeah, like I said, this chapter isn't too bad. It's kind of just continual management. I mean, the boss is kind of scary. He's a berserker. <clears throat> Sorry, berserker. But if you take care of him from range, like so, he's not too bad. Um, I don't like that that guy has a devil's axe. So I may be dealing with him differently. I don't like that that guy has a killing edge either. Um, but this isn't too bad. Yeah. And if he crits, I'll heal. Heal him up with Lilina and we'll be fine. That was a really good level up. Nope. You know what? Let's go here. Let's bait out his hand axe. There we go. Now just gonna make sure everybody else is still out of that guy's range. The only guy that can hit him is the guy with the devil axe, or with the, yeah, with the devil's axe, so that's fine. Let's move there. Have Kath open this up. We got another lock pick. But as you can see, as long as you steal him from the enemy thieves, you'll have plenty. Oh, we got another crit. That's all right, Lance will kill him. The boss is gonna take a shot at Lelina. Da! Ra! Luckily he missed. I didn't realize he'd have a 17 crit rate on Lelina. But uh Lelina hits him for a lot. Alright, now. Gonna have fear come up here. Um Yeah, this works. Let's do that. have fear kill him. Let's have Lelina heal up. Nope. Staff. Heal up Lance again. There we go. No problem. Not bad. Um, have a store start heading this way. Kath start heading over. Let's go ahead and actually rescue the store just to save ourselves a turn. Bring up that way, like that. What level are you? You're level 19. Not Lance. Iron Sword can hit for five. All right. 
Um, good to know. And Lena can hit for 33 minus... Oh, she actually might kill him now. That's fine. I wanted to give the level up to Lance, but if not, that's fine. And then Fear will kill this guy, no problem. There we go. All right, maybe we can feed it to Lance. We just gotta be really careful. Because if we can feed it to Lance, we can promote him. Because he's level 19. Hmm. How much, can, how much health does the boss have? Three. Can hit for five with an iron sword. Iron sword has a might of five. Slim sword should have a might of three. It does. Okay, this can work. Take the slim sword. You have increased hit rate now. 74. Okay. And I think we're actually going to promote fear too. All right, just please hit, Lance. That's all I ask. No, all right, don't get crit. Perfect. That's fine. Um, now we will just end there. See what happens. Okay. I am tempting fate. but I really want to give him this level up. Oh, uh, now a store is poisoned. Alright, unlock that. That should be the white gem. There it is. Okay. Um, can fear hit him without killing him? Ooh, she actually can. All right, um, but I don't really like her odds. Not really. Can Roy hit him without killing him? Sort of. How about the light brand? Nope, kills. Um, can you hit him without killing him? No. Okay, screw it. Doing this. Take an iron sword back. Go for it. Oh, Lance. Oh, Lance. Oh, Lance, why? Oh, how bad do you want this, Dustin? I don't want it that bad. I don't want it that bad. I don't want it that bad. Lelina, kill him. Good crit. Goodbye. Duh! I attempted fate too many times already. <laughs> That's it. Let's end it. Where's the legendary weapon? Hmm. I hear wind blowing from behind the throne. What? I can't hear it. A niche between the floor and the wall. Oh, it opened. So this is a legend is the legendary weapon. This axe is enormous. Armots. The very axe wielded by Dunban the Berserk or Durban the Berserker. It certainly appears to fit appears fit for a warrior of his stature. For a report, I have a message from Etruria. A revolution has broken out in Aquelia, the capital of Etruria. What? The ones leading the revolution are High Chancellor Rortz and Lord Arcado. They have captured King Mordred. They also said that say that they plan to divide dominion over the continent between Bern and Etruria. The two strongest nations of Alib joining forces. Is General Cecilia all right? And what, what of Princess Guinevere? We don't have any current information. 
but the three Etrurian generals have parted ways and are working separately. Mage General Cecilia has fled Aquilia for for the Misser Peninsula in the southwest. And the other generals? They're with the revolutionaries against their will because of the because the king was taken hostage. Lord Roy. We need to contact General Cecilia. Princess Guinevere, please be safe. And we got Armots. And as the second weapon we get, you can see that it is an intense axe. It increases defense by five points, has a might of 18, and is just generally really strong. But it's going to get sent to Convoy too. But with that, we finish Chapter 12X. And next time we will take on Chapter 13 as we head back to Etruria. And I'll see you guys then.